All right, here we are at Jekyllthaya, 5,200 meters. We're going to be heading up this slope in a minute. come up to but there's another one over there so what I'm gonna do in a little bit I'm gonna head down that trail I'm gonna suit up with my crampons and then I'm gonna hit that ridge for a little climbing so Oh. All right, so these are the trail crampons by Hill Sound. Everyone, this is Paul from the Outdoor Adventure, and as you saw in the introduction, we're going to be looking at the trail crampons by Hill Sound. Now, Hill Sound is a Canadian company based out of Vancouver, BC, which was the area I grew up in. Um, they produce some really good quality crampons and gaiters, which I'll be looking at some of their other products a bit later. But I wanted to take a look at what they've uh, got here in the in the trail crampon department. So these are what would be considered to be um, a stretch crampon. So this is something that is non-technical, but if you're in areas where, uh, like Washington, um, BC, those types of areas where your trail season is very short because of the snow or because you want to keep hiking a bit longer or get started hiking a bit earlier, and if there's snow and ice on the trail it can be a real deterrent, but this can just slap onto a, a regular pair of shoes or boots and uh, you can take the trails and have a, all that traction that you need. I'll give you an example of this. I went uh, hiking with uh, a couple of my friends uh, last summer in July. So we're talking end of July and we wanted to hit some areas where there were uh, some summits that were 6,000 feet and <laughs> there was way steep snow in places and everybody was turning back except for those who had uh, that were crazy like me or uh, that had um, trail cramp on. So uh, we stumbled around and slipped around, but there was other people up there that had various versions of trail crampons, and they had no problem getting up. 
past the snow fields and onto the summit. So this is the type of thing that you're looking at. Now as you can, as you, uh, can see here, their basic construction, they've got um, what they call an elastomer. So it's an elastic polymer, uh, stretchable but heavy duty uh, rubber. Now this stuff that they use is good down to minus 60. Uh, so 60 below zero and this thing is still functioning well. Now you, you may have seen some other uh, stretch crampons that are rubber or some kind of uh, polymer all the way around and they've got a, a, a kind of like a, um, a spring on underneath. Well these have just the top part is made out of this uh, elastic um, polymer, elastomer as they call it, and the bottom it is made out of these stainless steel chains, so really heavy duty. It's a, it's a much uh, heavier duty uh, product than some of the other ones out there that are trail crampons. The bottoms are made out of high, uh, the, the actual the actual spikes on the bottom are made out of a high carbon um, uh, steel and uh, not stainless. So these spikes themselves are three quarters of an inch or um, one and a half centimeters. And uh, they've added this, this flex plate, this flex hinge here, which what it allows it to do is when you are when you are moving, you don't want your um, to lose that traction. So you can bend, and that little hinge, maybe you see that, bends with your foot to give you that traction on the whole uh, flow of movement with your foot. It's, I haven't found that it's been needed, but on top they have this nice Velcro strap just to keep, uh, give you that extra bit of protection on the top from moving around in some rougher conditions. They're uh, universal, which means doesn't matter what foot you put them on. Really nice, um, as, you, as you saw in that video, really easy to take them off, put them back on again and um, if you don't have to worry about which is left and which is right, you just slap them on and, and, and go take them off when you don't need them. So really, I've been really impressed. I've took, taken them out a bit and used them and I'm going to be taking them with me, especially in uh, the Pacific Northwest in the, in the fall and in the springtime. Just allow me to get out that, that much more often when I want to, um, when normally I would be prevented by, uh, by the snow and the ice. When I did take them out, they have really good traction. I didn't slip around at all. You saw me on that ridge there. There was a drop off off the side, and I felt really comfortable just hiking along with these. There's a lot of wind there, and that didn't affect me either. So, this is uh, for those of us who want to get out and hike in the springtime or in the fall when the trails aren't uh, free of snow and ice. Something that you should definitely consider if you want to give yourself a bit more traction out there, if you want to use something um, to, to, to get you up that extra you know 500 feet of altitude. Now these, the, the Hill Sound Trail crampons here are on the heavier duty end. Like I said you can get ones that are very basic, so walking across a parking lot in the snow. These are definitely for trails. These are definitely something that's going to handle more heavy duty situations and so keep that in mind but as I said really nice really impressed with them as you can see really easy to take on and off heavy duty though so there you are comes off overall they're um, they weigh about 500 600 grams depending on the size of your feet um, and uh, that's uh, just a bit over a pound they pack down pretty small you can chuck them in your pack, a pair of them, and just keep them on hand for emergencies. So, Hill Sound Trail Crampons, uh, they're a really good company, check them out and uh, see what other things they have to offer. A bit later on I'll be uh, taking up their Trail Crampon Pros, which are the heavier duty versions, up to some 20,000 foot peaks here in South America where I am right now, and uh, I'll be doing that with the Gators and I'll be reporting back on how they handle the situation. So. Keep this in mind, the trail crampons, especially this fall if, you're, if you want to keep hiking out a bit longer in the season. So thanks for Hill Sound. They send these to, sent these to me. Um, I'm really happy with them. I'll be uh, using them a lot, I think, uh, when I get back to uh, North America um, so I don't have to stay cramped up in some of the lower altitude until July, August season.